it's kubernetes and ckd tips number 27 we will see how we can use the config map and load them as a whole volume okay so let's do one quick thing is that we already have few config maps created let's leverage few of them so if i get to know what all we have here so we'll say k get cm and and then we will use let's say the config my config 2 which has got two you can see in in the data column which indicates like how many keys you have so if i say k get cm my config 2 and then say yaml you'll find that i have got key 1 value 1 and key 2 value 2 so let's use this uh, to load the uh, create a pod to load that pod as um, and inside that pod to load this as a volume mount to do that so what i'm going to do is that i'll say v modified cm pod use the same for the yaml and this time i'm not going to use this end form from so i'll just delete this and delete this line and delete this line so what i'm going to do first before i need to mount a volume i need to create a volume right so and to do that in the same level where containers are it's a pod level thing i will say volumes and then in in that volume what i'm going to say i want to give a name of the volume so that's good idea to give a name so let's say i give a name as vol config okay vol config is the name of the volume and then i will say mount dash path so the mount path of that not sorry mount path of that um, volume is somewhere inside the container but here what i need to do is that i need to give a name and then what i need to do is that i need to give the name of the config map from where i am generating this volume so i'll say config map and then in the next line of the config map i will say name of the config map okay that is where i'll say my config to will come so that's when you basically give a volume called vol config from a config map called my config 2 right that's the volume you have here and inside the container what you can do you can now use this use this as uh, the volume mount and then I say volume mount and then it can be many so let's have a list volume mounts and then in the first volume mount I give the name of the volume mount the volume to be mounted is vol can fig okay now this is a, there's a spelling mistake let's go by that gif can gif okay that's the name of the volume uh, i have created and then in that mount path i will say what path it will be mounted so it will be mounted in etc slash config if i do that all the value will be visible inside etc that slash config within that container so let's see if this works okay and it's gonna go ahead and create the pod number nginx3 so let me just go and create the pod okay and then i say get pod i say nginx3 is running k e x c c nginx3 an interactive terminal and i go to sh i need to go to sh that's a shell command ng next okay and here i need to i can see what all files i have folders i have so i definitely have etc so i'll say cd etc okay just a bit bit slow right so it's not gonna uh, 
I'll just try to see that if I am in the same folder, but has moved. Yeah, so we are in the EDC. And then do I have a folder called config? Yes, I do have a folder called config. So if I say CD config, and then it goes inside the config, and then I will be able to see the key one and key two. So these are two individual files. So if you say cat key one, that will show the value of the key one. So it basically mounted as a volume and each of the key has become um, the file. So key one, key two are the two different files. So you can see that it shows the value one, right? If I just go ahead and let's say I want to run the same cat command for key two, it will show you the, the value as value two. And there's no line break, hence it is coming in the same, the prompt is coming in the same line. So they are mounted as volume inside my pod, inside the container, my uh, config values, right? So that's how you can mount the config map as a volume, as a drive, and then all the key will become file and their corresponding value will be text inside the file. Hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching this.